Hey everyone, how are we doing? My name is Tim Pongres and this is Focus on Detailing. What's going to be happening in this video is I'm going to be testing out Ammo Plum Wheel Cleaner to find out if it's worth it. First thing that I noticed when I unboxed it was it was packed very well. Oh, I was actually hoping that maybe a wheel woolly or a wheel lug nut brush could have been chucked in as well. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It isn't exactly cheap to get ammo products from the United States to Australia. This wheel cleaner cost me $76 in total to get here. Yes, I know it's a little expensive, but so far every ammo product that I've used before works very well and I'm hoping this will do the same. So what comes in the box is the Spray nozzle. First thing they did was took off the cap and put this on. And well, that was a mistake to do it inside because it absolutely stank. It stank out the whole house of definitely not plum. I'm eager to get out and try this product. So as usual, let's get right into the test video. Before I start anything, just a quick update with how the tyres are looking after the last video using the tyre shines. Oz Export was practically all gone, but the tyres still looked clean and to be honest, I think that was the same for all the tyres. They had travelled quite a few kilometres since the last video around two weeks ago and all could have gone with another application. So anyway, on with ammo. The first thing to do, get the wheel off. Easy enough. I just wanted to say that not that long ago I had some new tyres fitted and I'm really happy with them. Now my car is a bit of a boat in terms of steering ability, but these tyres, the Yokohama R1s, really helped making a lot more responsive. The only issue was a bit of road noise, but still definitely worth it. Anyway, starting with the inside of the rim, you can see that it's been left for quite some time and a lot of road grime and brake dust has built up. Perfect to test out Ammo Plum. I did what the back of the bottle told me to do, which was wet down the rim first before spraying any of the cleaner. You can see some of the light filth being dragged away, but still in desperate need of a proper clean. I grabbed the cleaner and sprayed liberally all around the wheel, getting in and amongst all areas that needed cleaning the most, but avoiding the tyre as it was already reasonably clean. You could see it doing its thing almost immediately, drawing out the embedded brake dust so it could easily be cleaned off and turning purple as it reacted with the iron particles. I should also include that when you're working with any wheel cleans, or in fact any car cleaning products, you should wear gloves. I'm not because I had none left after realising my car had one wheel off and I really wanted this video out because it was already well overdue. Now using a bucket with soapy water and a few brushes I agitated the product to help it clean the rim the best that it could. Ammo NYC actually offers a complete wheel regimen kit including brute wheel soap, ammo wheel cleaner and mud tyre gel if you're wanting it all in one complete set. But I'm making do with what I have at my disposal. If you're wanting to check them out all together, I'll put the link to Larry Casilla's video in the description. Unfortunately, I had to do this in sections as I was exposed to the sun and didn't want anything drying. So I rinsed off what I had done already, and you could see the differences in cleanliness straight away. Nearly all of the brake dust being removed. Grabbing the cleaner, I sprayed the wheel down again, but this time I filmed the process from going clear to purple. Even though all of this was just cleaned, it was still releasing embedded brake dust. Now using a wash mint, just for wheels, I washed it all over with a bit of added help from a toothbrush, which is now a wheel brush. Rinsing down the wheel again, you can see that Ammo Plum has done a great job of getting the wheel looking very tidy. It was important to make sure no cleaner was left behind as you don't want any of this hiding and drying around your wheels. A massive difference to how it looked before I touched it. Unfortunately, you've still got all the other embedded mess and grime within the pitting that's mixed with rust spots, but there is no way this cleaner is getting that out by itself. And like Maguire's wheel cleaner, I didn't expect it to. A lot more time and tools are needed to remove all that. Still very happy with the before and after. So now it was time to move on to the face of the wheel using the exact same steps as before. It didn't turn purple in most spots, and I can only assume that's because the face of the wheel was already reasonably clean from the last video. Still, it got the wheel looking a lot cleaner than it was before.
Since the wheel was off, I thought it'd be good to use some of that ammo plum on the wheel well as well. And again, it did a fantastic job of cleaning that too. The wheel was all cleaned up thanks to ammo plum and ready to be put back on. Now I take no credit for using this, my feet to shimmy and move the wheel back onto where it should be, as I got it from a video by Chris Fix, but far out does it make it a lot easier rather than lifting and pushing the wheel standing up. Here I managed to put it on in no time. The wheel was looking good but just needed that finishing touch, so I added some VRP across the tyre to make it really stand out. This was the end result after using ammo plum and VRP. So is it worth it? I'm going to say yes, but just, as it did do an awesome job removing all the brake dust, but it was pretty expensive as far as wheel cleans go after bringing it to Australia. Definitely a great product and I'd recommend it highly, but for now I think I'll just be using this on my car. That's it for this Is It Worth It video. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this upload and please go check out some of my other videos. I'll catch you all later.